Hey, welcome back to another episode of Explore the Spectrum. I'm your host, Janetta Bryant, and today we are joined with Julie Hornuck, who is the president and co-founder of Labeled and Loved. She's also an author and a veteran mom in the autism world. So we are really delighted to have you join us today, Julie. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Oh gosh, I, I look forward to chatting with you for a moment because you offer so much to our community, not just in Texas, but nationally. You're a great friend for so many of our different families. You um, kind of got into this because of your own personal story with your daughter, but you mm -hmm. very quickly championed being a role model for a lot of us as moms to say, oh my gosh, she's doing it really well. I want to learn from her. I want to uh, learn some of the practices that you were able to instill in your family with your daughter, but then also to take note of the things that you thought were really important along your journey. So first, your daughter Lizzie was your inspiration behind some of this. How is she doing now? Absolutely. She's doing so well. I'm so proud of her. She's now 20 years old. She is in college, she is driving on her own. She's part of a sorority. She lives in a house with seven girls and she very much still has autism. That's not going away, but we are so grateful for the progress she's made and every little step she's made. Just when she was diagnosed, uh, she was very, very affected. Right, she, she's somebody that's been able to champion severe symptoms to now having this newfound independence that I, I just, mm -hmm. I applaud, right? It, it's the goal and the dream for so many of us. And in your work and through these books and things that you've done, here more recently in the last few years, Labeled and Loved has come on the scene. And that's your way of working with other moms. Tell us a little bit about Labeled and Loved. Yeah, well, something I realized pretty quickly after Lizzie's diagnosis was even though I had like a really supportive community, great friends, great family, I still felt very isolated. And when that kind of went away for me was when I was introduced to a whole group of other moms kind of going through the same thing. They all had kids our same age, and we started to begin to really work together to help our kids. And I didn't understand exactly what that feeling of isolation was when I was in the midst of people that loved me, but now 19 research studies have shown that, that as parents of special needs kids, we are 95% more likely to be depressed and 90% more likely to experience anxiety. And so what Labeled and Loved has done is we have really cultivated and crafted and really intentionally put together in-person and online events that bring the moms of kids with special needs together in a way that helps them heal. And I think that it can't be said enough, just the emotional, physical drain that we have and our mental health really suffers in bringing us together and being in a room with women that just understand your life is life changing. Mm -hmm. It, it, it really is. The fact of the matter is, is that our families can love us. And some of us have really great families that do love us, but it isn't mm -hmm. until you meet another mom that is getting up in the morning and going through the exact same hurdles and challenges as you, that you feel like somebody else gets it. <laughs> like you get it. You're not just supporting me from the sidelines. You're in the fight with me. And it's somebody to share those ideas with and share the encouragement with. Um, it's just very meaningful. And the fact that so many of us are isolated is sad. The work that you're doing with Labeled and Love, you said in person or online, if it's online and you can reach people where they are, because not everybody has the option of being able to travel without their child, what do some of your online programs look like? So we have what's called sisterhood circles. And within sisterhood circles, we have groups that meet with a beautiful curriculum where they get together and they, learn some new things, some new coping mechanisms, and then they walk through together what this looks like in, their, like in their daily lives. And they meet regularly with the same group. And then we also have our faith and friendship groups that meet online and they are walking through a book together and then they meet, they pray, they share um, prayer requests and really get to know each other. But the big thing is that they're consistently meeting together and doing life together. And, so we offer that online. We also have a big event once a year called a mom's mingle and we meet and play games and have raffles and just kind of have a fun night out where you can be sitting in your jammies in front of the screen. And it's very, very enjoyable. 
oh my gosh, I didn't know about Mom's Mingle. So I'm stowing that away in the back of my mind. I have plenty of people right off the top of my head that I've got to share that with. But then you have your real big event and your real big event is your retreat. And you've done a few of those now and it's uniquely wonderful because people from all around the country will travel to be at this. I think that when I described it, it was kind of like um, when Oprah would do her big giveaway shows. And it's like, and you get this, and you get this, and you get that. It's almost like a retreat that I think was inspired by one of those shows because you love on these moms that come in in ways that I don't know any other organization does. And if somebody is able to uh, be a part of that with you, it's a it's a moment that I'm sure will last for a very long time, as well as the friendships that they make at that. Tell us a little bit about the retreat beyond that. Yeah, it's such a beautiful experience. I mean, my heart is just for every woman that walks in the room to feel loved. And I think what's important to know that is as especially as moms, we often get the leftovers, right? We get the hall. Our kids are thrown in the hall at the end of you know, the end of the class, the end classroom at the end of the hall. And we are fighting for every single thing for our kids, for ourselves, for our lives. And when they walk in, I want them to know this is all about you. Every single moment has been intentionally put together so that you feel loved and embraced exactly as you are without any kind of judgment. And so we try to do a lot with the aesthetic of the event because we want you to feel beautiful and understand and remember how beautiful you are. And then we want you to focus on yourself because at, you are a mother. Yes, you are a mother, but you are also a woman who needs to remember what things were like before the diagnosis, before things got complicated. And so we have breakouts, we have big speakers, we have inspirational speakers. We have a lot of time to talk and be intentionally together. And it's just the most incredible, beautiful experience. It's three days, two nights. We have women coming from uh, currently 32 states and all the way from Guam is the furthest mom coming. So it's just a really incredible experience to meet other people going through the same thing. Okay, so have you released your next date and place yet? So the one this year is October 13th through 15th in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And our Venue overlooks a beautiful mountain. It's just going to be such a relaxing time that we have together this year. And registration's open. That's wonderful. So if they, if anybody wants to learn more, should they go to your website or should they go to a social media site? Where should they go? Absolutely. You can go to our website, labeledandloved.org. You can also Facebook or Instagram at labeledandloved. Julie, thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you to all of our viewers for joining us for this episode as we continue to explore the possibilities.